Prelude to a Kiss actually started before my tenure. It was, it was commissioned by my predecessor, uh, Wisely, Mark Masterson. Uh -huh. And so when I got here, uh, I was made aware that um, we were going to hear a little bit of Prelude. And that was like <laughs> a little bit of the book which is based on terrific source material in Craig Lucas's play. And I, I watched on video, because I was between Tucson and here, uh, that presentation. And when I heard the song, uh, I Haven't Slept in Years, that Rita sings as her first solo, uh, I basically put it down and I called the team here and I said, I'd like to green light this. It was very kinesthetic and really immediate for me. And so I signed the slip of paper that said, we're going to develop. We're going to stay with it and develop it. And that was five, <laughs> I mean, that was five, six years, well, I guess five years ago. So all those reasons are, are sort of how we, how we then uh, arrived, I guess, here in a very bumpy way because in between and in betwixt was COVID and cancellations and postponements and workshops. Craig Lucas has been part of the trajectory of the theater for a very long time. Uh, many of you know that it's important to me to have a few touched on legacy playwrights reintroduced or um, brought back to the theater. We did that with Richard Greenberg. It's an opportunity to do this with Craig Lucas, Oct Octavio Solis as well. And so that feels edifying and it feels particularly great that, that Craig's work is now gonna be seen in our 60th anniversary.